Hello Great Minds, today we're going to be starting with geometry, so you're going to be working in book two. Okay, so what we're going to start with is some revision from grade eight stuff. So we're going to be doing geometry of straight lines, uh, working from slides one to 13 from the geometry of straight lines PowerPoint. Okay, now just to recap on some of the definitions in that, uh, on types of angles. We have a complementary angle, and those are angles that add up to 90. <clears throat> so just remember that, please, grade uh, nines. Just remember that complementary means add up to 90. Okay. Then we have um, supplementary. Supplementary angles add up to 180. Then we've got this thing called adjacent angles. Now, adjacent just means next to. So if you have a look at this diagram over here, We've got this angle A1 and A2. Those are adjacent angles because they are next to each other. And they have certain properties. They share a common vertex. Now your vertex is this pointy little bit over here. So you can see that these two adjacent angles share this common pointy bit, which is the vertex. They also share a common arm. So if we have a look at angle A2, the two arms that belong to A2 are this arm here and this arm over here. Then if we look at angle A1, it has an arm over here and an arm over here. And you can see that A1 and A2 share this common arm AC. So that's that bit over there. Then uh, their third property, they lie on either side of this common arm. And you can see here's their common arm. And they lie on that side and that side. So on either side of the common arm. All right. So uh, what I would like you guys to do from that. And guys, just remember that this is all revision. I would like you guys to do exercise 13.1 for this section here. Okay. Moving on. Now what we've got, what you guys learned last time, was angles around a point add up to 360. So if we have a look at this example here, here we've got this point right in the middle there. And we've got all of these angles around this point. So we know that all of these angles, if we had to add them up, would equal to 360 degrees. Okay. Now remember with this whole geometry section, you have a statement column and a reason column. So whatever you state here, you must give a reason why. So we want to solve for um, angle B here. So I know that B plus 100 plus 125 must be equal to 360. So what I've done there is I've taken this angle, this angle, this angle, worked around like that added them together and that must be equal to 360 degrees now i must give a reason why i said that and my reason for that is angles round a point okay and you remember the the symbol for angles in geometry is that funny little l like that okay so uh this is a simple equation this gives us b plus 225 is equal to 360. Take that to that side, it becomes a minus, and we get angle B is equal to 360 minus 225. So that means this angle B must be equal to 135 degrees. All right, moving on to the next one that you guys learned. Adjacent angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So you remember what adjacent means? Next to. So these two angles next to each other will add up to 180 degrees because they're on a straight line. Okay. So how do I set this up with my statement reason? So I know that 2x plus 10 plus 136 must be equal to 180 degrees because you can see they're on this straight line. And angles on the straight line are 180 degrees. So we know that 2x plus 10 degrees plus 136, sorry, 136 degrees. So I've just taken my two angles, added them together, 
and that will be equal to 180 degrees. And my reason for this, adjacent angle straight line. Okay. So what do we get here? Grade 9. So we get 2x is equal to, take that and that to the other side, and we get 180 minus 136 minus 10, and we get 2x is equal to 34. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x is equal to 17 degrees. Okay. Going on to the last one. If two lines intersect, so here's our two lines, there's our one line, there's our other line, and intersect means that they cut like that, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. Okay, so vertically opposite means we have these two are vertically opposite, and these two are vertically opposite. So that means that these two will be equal, those two will be equal, okay? So if we look at the example that we have here, we know that 3x plus 20 will be equal to x plus 30, okay? So if we set that up, we've got 3x plus 20 is equal to x plus 30. Take my two vertically opposite angles and set them equal to each other. My reason for this is vert op angles. Okay, this is just like a normal equation. X is on the one side, numbers on the other. So we get here 3x minus x is equal to 30 minus 20. So that will give us 2x is equal to 10. Divide both sides by 2, and we get x is equal to 5 degrees. All right, grade 9s, what I would like you to do now is exercise 13.2 for me, please. Thank you very much.